everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, for today's demo, I wanted to quickly show you how you can design human in loop uh, process with Copilot Studio Agent. Um, so for this, we have announced two new actions in AI, flow, uh, AI flows. Um, so these are two new preview actions which allow you to design a human in loop kind of a process where if your agent requires approval from a team member or from a team, um, it will route that approval uh, to their mailbox and then they can approve it before agent shares the final response with your end customers or employees. Uh, so this is really uh, impactful because uh, there might be scenarios where you want your team to review the outcome before it's sent to your customer. Um, or even if your AI agent is not able to make a decision based on the instructions, it might um, send, send it to a uh, team member uh, who can review and approve it um, so that the process can move forward. So th that's the use case here that we are going to see uh, for today's demo. Uh, also, quickly, I wanted to mention uh, in Copilot Studio, we also have uh, uh, Anthropic access to Anthropics model now. So if you look here, I'm using Claude Sonnet 4.5 for this agent that I have created. Um, so you should be able to choose, uh, you know, Anthropic models um, to power your Copilot Studio agents. Um, if you don't see it here, uh, what you can do is you can simply go to uh, admin.cloud.microsoft.com go to settings under data access, you should see this option where it says AI providers for other large language models. Just click on it and then enable or allow anthropic models um, to light up in your uh, Copilot Studio tenant. Um, so once you complete this step, it might take like 10 minutes to show up here in Copilot Studio, but that's the process you can follow if your use case requires um, you to use Claude model. Okay, coming back to today's use case. Um, so we are designing human in loop agent. So you can see right now, I don't have any uh, knowledge sources or tools for this agent. Uh, all I have done is I have created a topic that would allow employee an employee to submit leave requests. And what we are going to do is based on leave type, we would either auto approve it. So the logic here is if it's just for one day, uh, the, if the leave request is just for one business day, then we auto approve it. So the system will auto approve it. In this case, we are not routing to any uh, team member. AI is going to look at all the uh, details on the request and if it will see if it's just one business day and it will auto approve it. If it's not, um, uh, if it's more than one business day, then depending on leave type, it will route the uh, requests for approvals to manager, uh, then GM, and in specific scenario, uh, it will also route it to HR. So if like the leave type is um, FMLA related leave, then it will route it to um, HR. So that's what I'm gonna show you first, and then I'll show you how to design it. So let me quickly show how it works, and then we'll look at um, the design uh, for both Copilot Studio Agent and AI Flow. So here I have this agent. You can see I have a leave request uh, action. If I click on that, it presents this card uh, that allows employees to submit a new request. So I'll say not feeling well, uh, taking a sick leave. And in this case, we are just taking one day off. So you can see it's one business day. So the system is going to auto approve this. So if I click on submit, you can see this has been submitted and then I can see I got, a, got an email here. That's my name for the user, hello. Roy is the first name, administrator is the last name. And it says your leave request of type sick from this date to this date is auto approved by system. So in this case, like I mentioned, we don't send it to 
a team. Um, we just use AI to basically make sense of the leave request. It checks how many business days um, the leave request is for. And if it's only for one business day, then it auto approves it. So that's the first scenario. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is, let's say in this case, I want uh, to apply for a leave. And in this case, I want to go on a sabbatical, taking a few weeks off. I'll say I'm off from this date to November 28th. I'll take the leave type as sabbatical and going backpacking. And in this case, because it's more than one business day, um, it this needs to be approved by their manager as well as the uh, as their team GM. Um, but it won't go to HR because it's not related to FMLA. So in this case, when I submit this, um, again, you should see uh, first I'll get an email. So I am the manager, so it's going to the same mailbox, but you can see that it's being uh, routed to their manager so let's see should see a mail coming so here you can see um, i have a new email that just came in and you can see it's asking me to leave uh, approve this leave request for roy administrator leave type is sabbatical this is the start date this is the end date I can say approved and I'll say manager approved and I'll submit this. So once I submit this, um, the employee is notified. So you can see this is the email that goes out to employee saying that manager is approved. Any comments are shown to the employee. Uh, and then it also tells that depending on leave request or leave type, the additional um, approvals might be required. So in this case, um, it will go to Team GM. So I should see another email uh, coming in. So let's see if I receive that email. You can you can monitor it here. So this is the process that it's using, and you can see there's an email here. So in this case, you can see, just to make it easy to read, this is Team GM. Uh, please review the request for Roy, um, and it's showing me the leave type, start date and end date, and I'm going to approve this. Um, so now I'm going to approve this as GM, and that's all that's needed. So I'm saying GM approved. So once I submit this, employee is going to be notified saying that all approvals are complete. And here you can see your leave request of type sabbatical starting from this date to this date is fully approved. So this time, because we chose sabbatical, it only required manager and GM approval. Um, I'll quickly show you another um, example where it will also in addition to manager and GM, it will also route to HR team. So in this case, again, we are going and submitting a new request. And I'll say, uh, leave. Um, I'm going to select today to December 5th, and I'm saying FMLA leave. So this is what requires HR approval. So I'm going to send it here, and I'll submit. And now you can see it's going to follow the same process. So the first approval uh, is from uh, manager. So for manager will get an email asking him to approve. So here you can see I got the email so this is the email that went to manager so you can see it's asking me to approve uh, leave type is fmla 
So I'll say yes. Approved. I'm going to click submit. So once I click submit, once the manager approves, the employee gets an email saying that manager has approved. And it also tells them that additional approvals are needed. And next, it will uh, go to GM. So here is the GM email. So I'm going to approve as GM. Approved. So now the GM has approved this. And then you can see the HR is also going to get a new email. So I have a separate mailbox. And here you can see I got an email for Roy again. Uh, it's of type FMLA. And th these are the dates. And I'll approve it. So this is HR approving it. And once I do that, the employee is going to be notified saying all approvals are received and it's completely approved. So that's the use case. Uh, and let me now show you how you can design this easily in Copilot Studio. So starting from Copilot Studio, so what I have done here is I have a topic. It's called leave request. And in this topic, every time we employee uh, wants to submit a leave request, this topic gets triggered. I have a adaptive card which collects all the information that's needed for the request. And then once it collects this information, it calls a AI flow that I have designed. So this is the flow it's calling. And now let's look at the flow. So on the flow, it sends all the information from the leave request. So the flow is aware of all the information that was submitted. Now, if you look at the flow, um, here is the flow that I have. So when the agent is called, it has all the information from the leave request. And like I said, the first scenario that I showed was AI approval. So in this case, it's not routing to any team member. Um, all it's doing is it's using this AI approval action, which looks at all the information and decide, decides if it's for one business day. If it's for one business day, then we auto approve it. Um, so here I'm checking to see if it's one, if AI approval is approved. So if the outcome of this stage is approved because it's just one business day, then I just notify the employee. If it's more than one business day, then AI approval is going to be denied. And then it uh, goes to uh, first goes to manager for approval. So in this case, I'm using this action called request for information. So this is a new uh, preview action. So all of these are um actions within power uh, or ai flow so the first one is called ai approval so this is just ai making the decision here we want to collect some information from manager in this case so i'm using this request for information i show all the information that was submitted and then i'm asking the manager uh, whether he wants to approve or deny so you can see um this is what is generating the email to the manager. If they click on approve, then we send an email to the, uh, to the employee. So once manager approves, the employee is informed that their manager has approved it. And then we have this run a multi-stage approval process. So this is another action that you have. So this is useful when you have to route it to multiple teams. So in my scenario, because I'm run, routing it to GM and in some instances, I'm routing it to HR team, um, I'm using this multi-stage approval process. And in this case, what I'm doing is I have created, um, you can see two steps. So the first one is team GM. So as soon as manager approves it, it goes to this step here. And then I'm routing it to the GM for that particular team providing all the details from the request and then they either approve or reject it next once they make the decision i'm checking if the leave type is fmla so 
I'm, what I can do is I just added a condition here to check if the leave type is FMLA. If it is FMLA, then I'm sending it to the second step, which is HR approval. Or if it's not FMLA, then I'm just ending the process as approved. Uh, so you can see here, um, it's you can create any number of stages. So I can click here and I can create another manual stage where you can assign the stage to a team, uh, or you can also uh, create a AI stage. So just like the one I have shown um, right at the uh, at the at the front or uh, at the start of the process, you could also create a AI stage where it can. Uh, look at the data and make a decision without involving any team. So depending on your process, you could either create manual stage or AI stage, and then you can also add conditions uh, depending on uh, your use case. So in certain cases, you might need uh, to route it to different teams or in certain, but if you want to route it to just as one team, you can do that using condition. Um, so these, these are the new actions that allow you to uh, create this human in loop process. So here you can see once the, this action is complete, um, I just send an email to the employee uh, informing them about the outcome. So this is the final approval that was needed and then employee is notified when all the approvals are completed. So this is what I wanted to show today. Um, so you can see it's very easy to design. These are all um, pre-built actions in um, AI flows within AI flows. Um, so you can just use these depending on your use case. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any question, do let me know and I'll be happy to answer uh, any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.